Hey everyone, enjoy the show. today so recently here in the greater Los Angeles area I was able to pick up this 1930 mutoscope electric traveling crane that's what the description of the machine is when I got it, it was really nice because it was in good working order which is you just don't find that too often but when I brought it in it played so all we had to really do to it was service the mechanism regrease it we didn't even have to tune it it was running nicely so what we did is we, uh, we did a full refinish job on it. We stripped the whole cabinet. We patched all of the holes and all of the wood. Then we did it in a nice walnut. And then we did it in a clear satin lacquer finish. And with the black, uh, which was black from the beginning, bands around it. We took the whole face off. I sent it out and had it triple chrome plated. As well as this was what they called the Empire State Machine because at the time they made this in the 30s, the Empire State Building was one of the latest and greatest things. So they designed a lot of machines after that because they were quite proud of it here in America. Back here on those two uh, reservoirs there, as you see, there is the Empire State Building. This one to the left, you can see there's a hole in it, and I will show you in a minute, but the lid comes up so that you could put more toys in it and they would come out as they won them. Over here on the right, for whatever reason, it was blocked off and from the factory, I don't know why the lid opens, but they did block it off. Down here, we went through, this is really nicely done down in here. This has, uh, this is here for extra toys, etc. Here's the keys to the original cash box. So we got this all neatsy tidy. This was as well to store extra toys, okay? There's uh, five locks on this machine. There's, uh, one left, one right, one top, one bottom, one for the cash box, okay? If I can just get this to go in there, right? Which I did. Um, so what we're gonna do now is let's give it a shot. This thing has, and the other thing that's really cool about this that most of them are not, it's got the overhead cam. So you get to watch the cam shaft move up there. Most of, uh, most of the other ones have all of that mechanical stuff down here, but this one has it overhead. This is where you move it in and out, side to side, okay? So let's see what happens here. Okay, I'm going for the B here. Oh, but I got a Pez. <laughs> so let me move him over just a little bit more. There we go. Come on. Oh, we gotta try one more time. Move it over just a little bit more. As you see, it runs good. The claw, it has a good claw in it. Uh, so that it has really good strength, so it'll pick up toys nicely. Come on, missed it again. Anyway, uh, I'm gonna show you in here, I'm gonna take this front panel off. I think I'm gonna, ah, there it is. And uh, I'll show you inside here. They actually have an extra set of, uh, which has now been replaced with plexiglass here, left, right, and front, so they don't bang or break the outer glass. Here is the reservoir here. See, and you would put capsules. Actually, these toys, which I am going to be giving you with the machine, uh, I don't want to say they're a little bit big, but it, you know, if you get some nice capsules, you know, about two, three inch round capsules, yeah, and it'd be really nice to put some uh, money in there. If you're a grandparent to have this machine, when those kids come over, they ain't gonna wait to get into Grandpa's claw machine, and then you could change out the prizes, put some money in it. These kids are gonna have an absolute ball with it. Anyway. Yeah, here, let me run this for you. And he, you can see this overhead cam mechanism, which is really super neat. Oh, here we go. See here. One other thing I want to tell you is that I put the old school light bulbs in it. Now there is an on and off switch on the top of the machine here, which turns just the light bulbs on and off because it don't turn the machine off because it's not wired that way. The machine uh, will run right now. And this was for the lights. So when you were operating it, you just turned the lights off. Anyway, super nice 1930 electric traveling crane by Mutoscope. Great piece, a lot of fun, nice investment. Uh, gonna look fabulous in your house. So if you get it, buy it, we'll get it on a pallet, we'll get it right out to you. No big deal, it's ready to go. And as always, thanks for watching our videos. These are antiques. These are mantiques. Antique, mantique. These guys sell mantiques. This is their store. 
I mean, we're picking, we're bringing stuff every day, in and out, in and out, in and out. We're, we're, we're shaking and baking. These are their customers. Give me the rundown on the GMC. This lived in a bar in Ghent in Belgium. Follow Jim and Jeff from 9 to 5 or after hours as they buy, sell, and restore the coolest stuff for the coolest collectors worldwide.